Give him a package, dude. Give it up. Come on. There we go. Now, I know there's extra stuff I can do and extra things I can get on here. I've played this game before with a strategy guide next to me, no less. But I'm not going to get everything. Because this is a first playthrough. If I ever decide to do the second game, I have a perfect save I can load into it. So, yeah. And what we're doing now is we are going all the way Huge. Oh, damn it, I went the wrong one. While retrieving it. Yes, sir. I'm afraid there's no excuse for the fatalities that occurred during the recovery. However, we can... That's a trivial matter. Forget it. The problem is that those people touched the Zohar and then vanished. And, in addition to that, you're still transporting it while exposed to normal space. Because of that, we've had to move the plan up two phases. We can't have the Zohar falling into the government's hands. Two phases? But why are you... We picked up local UMN activity on our EPR radar. The fleet is column jumping towards the position of your convoy. They'll cross your vector in five hours, 22 minutes. No, it can't be. Them? I told you, you've made a grave mistake. We dispatched reinforcements an hour ago. So keep it safe at all costs until they arrive. W will they make it in time? Just keep it safe until they arrive. I don't care if you have to send it into hyperspace by itself. Fortunately for you, your ship is carrying that weapon. Sorry about that. I had no to uh, pause it to fix take advantage of something. I wasn't recording my can. audio for a minute. Excuse me, sir, but they haven't even started field testing it yet. It's too risky. It's always too risky with you, Trankov. You, of all people, should be cognizant of its power. I don't care if it's unstable. Make them hurry. But, but, sir... That is all. Commander, wait! Commander Margulis! He sounds so... uh... needy? I guess? Is the right word? Maybe? Like I told you before, I can't go anywhere until my project stabilizes. Don't you remember? You know how long you've been saying that? I haven't seen you for two <laughs> years now. You could at least come home for oh, our parents' families. memorial. Where's your sense of filial duty? Memorial? Oh, come on. Why are you trying to resurrect obscure ancient rituals? Wait a minute. You've been reading those weird old books again, haven't you? 
I swear you're so obsessed with those precious books. books are awesome. Of that is Don't you dare be knocking on books, Thank you very much. Uh, How many times must I tell you not to quibble about my way exactly. of life? Exactly. What do you mean, way of life? All that stuff's just a stupid old hobby for you. Just remember, don't expect me to take you in when you're old, senile, and all alone. Oh, families quipping at each other. That's terribly rude of you, Xion. Don't worry about me. Just promise me you'll come home this year, okay? If you don't... All right, all right. When I get I... some time off... Look, I prefer his voice run. actor in the See other ya. games. I'm not hey, too much wait. a fan of the one in this I'm one. I'm not going to let you dodge the question again. Hello? Yeah, Hello? Jin's voice actor is much better in 2 and 3. Honestly... I wish he'd consider my feelings. Why don't you for consider change? his feelings for a change? You just hung up on the dude. He's your brother. Granted, I don't put any stock in family either. But still, that's just rude. Oh, we need a rest. She ought to gotta keep ourselves up. Whew, I could use a nap too. Good night. Oh look, it's the place they're not going to tell me what it is or explain where it is until the third game. Welcome to Silent Hill. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. Really, if anyone gets what I'm uh, quoting there. <laughs> Maybe I'll let's play that game too. It's a random bishi come for you in the darkness! Aliens! <laughs> I'm going to kill you. Seriously, children are creepy. Also, what I'm quoting there when she comes up is from Clock Tower 2. Or, Clock Tower, uh, Ghost Within? Something Within. The creepy nighttime of the Woglin Day. A dining room. Stop. Don't open that casket. Hi, Ellen. What the? You're all still here? Hey, how's it going? We're trying to pinpoint today's problem, among other things. What about you? Oh, Commander Cherenkov gave me a piece of his I'm mind I'm so earlier. sorry. Ouch. Glad to see you survived. That guy's relentless. You act like a bunch of college kids, and what, is Vector run by a Girl Scout? He just went on and on. <laughs> Sounds like our friend with the X across Man, his face. It's just not right. Seriously. But it isn't right to have the chief taking all the heat. So he takes some of the heat for her. Still, Alan, Xi'an does not deserve you. I wonder you. why he seems so nervous. Maybe because of the heartbeat in the background? And because of that. Seeing as last time that happened, everyone died! Now exiting the asteroid field. That's excellent. Prepare to gate jump. 
Aye, aye, Captain. All ships entering approach. 19 minutes, 30 seconds to column area. UMN, pulse received. Current coordinates locked. Transfer vector correction to 103. Target, Athens column. Science, Mumbo Jumbo, that makes no sense to us. Captain, a warning signal. It can't be. Yes. Is it them? No, sir. The detection system is silent. Your detection system is silent? How's it look on your side? Nothing over here, either. Are you sure it's not an error? No, no it's not. What is this? What's going on? Sir, I don't think an external source is causing this warning signal. Then what's causing it? Cosmos, bitch. I'll run a search. Cosmos has a better warning detection system than a warship. I've pinpointed the anomaly. It's inside the ship! Sector 3! Oh dear. The ship's been put on red alert! Everyone, to their stations! Oh wait, wrong franchise. It's... Cosmos! Oh dear. Apparently not. Hey, what the hell's going on? Cosmos is waking know. up. She's had enough sleep. It all happened so quickly. We're checking it out right now. Cosmos warning status. Level one. The bindings are off. Damn it. It's booting up on its own. The countdown has started as well. What the hell? Why all of a sudden? Because it senses Gnosis. And it has a better detection system than a warship. Somehow. Time to get up, Shia, honey. Looks like the creepy ghost child decided not to kill you this time. Magic glasses. Countdown? How can you- Magic, honey. Magic. He thinks that's not going to work. Currently, we are at emergency. Yeah. Level. This circuit is reserved for Class A and B users only. Class C users. You're not important enough, Shion. Once again, currently we are at oh, emergency. Level. Come on. This circuit Why is now reserved all times? for Class A and B users Someone only. activate Class C users. Please try. Your no, Cosmos activated herself. Once again, Wait, we are that's impossible. Cosmos isn't supposed to wake up unless I enter the activation code from this terminal. That's the failsafe we integrate. This... This can't be happening. Not again. I think you've got a couple more issues, honey buns. It's, really it's exactly the same as the last time. Your boyfriend's dead. <laughs> Cosmos killed him. Cosmos oh, is crazy! Now. It's what Cosmos was trying to tell the ship. That it's aliens! What is it now? Aliens, Detecting I told you. Detecting a large-scale spatial distortion ahead of us. An enormous mass is gating out. Impossible. That's what she We're said. We're still outside the column area. That's... The UMN geodesic structure is being breached. The target! It appears to be interacting with the UMN somehow! It's being hacked! That's possible? It's That's breaking the laws of physics! Surface anomalies forming in space-time! Impossible! That defies all laws of physics! Ah, oh, that's right! numbers are completely inconsistent! I can't get a clear reading! Whatever it is, it's huge! Aliens! This is a tidal wave! The readings are increasing! It's entering normal space! Captain! Captain! 
straight ahead. There it is. Gnosis. Aliens. <laughs> that hurts my throat. <laughs>